so the state of the startup ecosystem in Serbia, I think, is just on the brink, brink of really getting big. It's a very exciting time to build Belgrade right now. I think there are lots of technology people here. I think there are lots of technology ideas, lots of creativity, and we really need to marry that with the business opportunities and the business applications. So I think it's a very exciting time for Belgrade right now. So from my perspective, I think, it, again, it's also on the brink of really developing, and I think what we really need to do is to educate potential investors how to become angels. And so the more people that we can get interested and educated and involved with startups, we can really build that angel investor network. And I think, it, I think we've shown that people from other regions, other countries, will, are willing to come over here to help do that. And I think that's what we are. We'll be mentors to those angels to help build this angel network. Yeah, so the more investors you get involved, the less of a gap you'll have. The more investors that you get involved that see the startups and see the possibilities and see the opportunities, the better off you are. I think the other piece that really has to get done here in Belgrade is to map out the entire ecosystem and try to get the investors involved in creating the glue between all of the members of the ecosystem, whether that's the universities, whether that's the technology training, whether that's the impact hub, the ITS hub, Serbian Entrepreneurial Club, there's got to be a glue that brings them all together so that we can create that village that's really going to help that startup community really grow. I think confidence. I think more than anything, it's confidence. It's confidence that other people are interested in what they're building. And also visibility and promotion and capital. So those are the things they really need. We can provide education. I think the education is going to be there through the Impact Hub and some other opportunities. I think we also need a lot of mentors and we need a lot of people involved. And giving those startups the confidence to really go big. So I would if I invested in international companies. I think the top two companies that won are both investable companies. And I do think they're even investable companies for U.S. investors because I think their reach can be international and global. Um, it's a matter of getting them a little bit further along and also mapping them to some U.S. mentors before they get that investment. But they're, very, they're two very investable companies. So don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Be confident, uh, be resilient, be determined, be passionate, and keep going. And don't stop, you know? Don't be patient, go fast, just keep going.